Hey folks, Aaron here. And this week, let's do kind of an end of month wrap up. All right, so first point, as you may remember, last week I mentioned that I had a little bit of car trouble and uh, my usual white Saturn was not in my garage behind me. Well, as you can see, Lucy's back. So it turns out, problem was, as I mentioned, well actually it wasn't what I thought it was. I thought it was an ignition switch. It actually just turned out to be a loose wire, which presumably over the course of the months of winter driving and some of the potholes we get around here had jostled loose. Anyway, that was the problem. So lesson learned, uh, I think the moral of that story for me is, other than that I shouldn't have put it off from August or September when the problem first started popping up. The other moral of the story is that I should be doing the same thing I do with my motorcycle every spring and do a full nut and bolt inspection um, or just go over the whole vehicle, tighten things that need tightening, make, basically make sure everything's tightened down and not coming loose. And that probably would have saved me a couple hours of hassle and finding out whether or not Safeco covers my road in my uh, roadside assistance. They do. And finding out how much the mechanic charged to find a loose wire connected to my battery. Lesson learned. All right, next thing. I call this an end of month wrap up because I'm shooting this on the last day of February. But if things are going well, this should show up on March 12th, which should be a Monday. So what that means mostly is that this month I made some really good progress in getting my content buffer back. Um, this has kind of been a big thing for me personally, um, to get that buffer back. And a lot of that is just kind of my workflow and my time. I don't like sitting at my computer at nine o'clock at night going, I gotta have something on my blog tomorrow. What am I gonna write? It doesn't work well for me time-wise. It's just, this is what causes missed updates and lazy content and all that stuff. So. I made really good progress this month. Uh, the goal is to have a two week backlog. And by the time this video airs, if I can keep to my schedule, I will have that back, that, uh, that buffer, not a backlog, that I will have that buffer at two weeks. So that'll be a big uh, helpful thing, especially with some of the things I have planned for spring and summer where I'm going to be going on some trips. So I will probably have a few days where I don't necessarily make content. A lot of that will come back. And the whole point of a buffer is no one ever notices that I'm gone because I don't miss updates. I just come back with some new cool content. That's the idea. It works amazing for Howard Taylor and Schlock Mercenary. Is where I got the idea from. I mean, that man has not missed an update of Schlock Mercenary in 18 years. Um, I, I tip my cap to him every time I even think about that concept. Uh, I'm lucky if I can string together a few weeks of not missing a Monday through Friday update. So, anyway, buffer, big progress. Other initiative, um, was trying to read through the Bible in a year. And at the start of the month, I was about a week and a half behind schedule on that. I'm caught up on that now too. So that's really good. Um, it's a really good way for me to start my day. Um, and a lot of this success, I think, has come down to two things. One, I totally reorged my Trello board with a focus on lining up 
what content I need to create, when I need to do it, and what I have in my buffer. So that helps me a lot with figuring out, okay, here's what I need to work on today. And the other thing that's been huge is I started a bullet journal. And I know that's a very trendy thing. And specifically, I saw that uh, Kristen, uh, Kitty Plays, was doing one. And that honestly is what inspired me to go, okay, what the heck is a bullet journal? Read about it, seemed like it meshed really well with the strategy I was trying to do with my Trello boards. And, you know, okay, I don't know if this is sustainable because I've only been doing this uh, for, I've been doing this for exactly two weeks now. Uh, but damn if this hasn't been amazing for getting stuff done. Um, I will have a report at the end of next month, uh, assuming, because at that point I'll have been doing this for six or seven weeks uh, by the end of March, but initial two-week sprint period is, this is amazing, and it's helping me be so much more organized. Um, going back to the Bible reading, too, like, it is really, my morning routine now is I get up, make my coffee, grab a shower, drink coffee while I get ready. Um, once I'm caffeinated, then, you know, read my Bible and then fill out my bullet journal for the day. And just like first two entries are Bible study, check, and then my content buffer. And I'll tell you what, starting, your mor starting my morning every day with, am I behind on this? No, I'm not behind anymore. And how many days of buffer do I have is a huge motivator. It's great to have a task done already, and it's a great motivator for the rest of my day to go, okay, I've already had something done. Here's the things I need to accomplish today, and it works really well. Um, I'll probably have another video really digging into the bullet journal again in another couple of months once I really, really get a feel for this more. Uh, but that... That has been a huge boost to my productivity uh, between the bullet journal and the Trello board has really helped me finally start, finally get caught up, start working ahead and hopefully continue to work ahead and hopefully start making better content here on YouTube and Twitch and on my blog. So that's kind of the big stuff. Um, okay, one other Quick note, no glasses. Why? Because I finally went to the optometrist and finally got new contact lenses. I've been wearing glasses since I was eight. I started wearing contacts when I was 19. I much prefer contacts. You won't see me wearing contacts necessarily in a lot of streams because glasses are a lot more convenient for that, especially after I come home from work and Forget coming home from work and putting on your comfy shoes and your comfy pants. Nobody doesn't wear contacts. You don't understand the comfort level of come home from work, take the contacts out of your eyes, and slip your glasses on. It's, it's better than putting on the comfy I'm not working now pants. But I like how these look a lot more. I like wearing sunglasses, specifically I like wearing Ray-Bans. Um, anyway, so yay for not having to wear glasses all the time. And also hooray that my eyes have not measurably gotten worse yet. Uh, so that's a big plus as well. Um, weather's supposed to be great this weekend. Uh, I may actually... Out here on the bike right now. Oh, good. Still got battery power. So, uh, you know what? We, uh, next update, fingers crossed, maybe, may come uh, from somewhere out on the road this weekend. We'll see. That's all I have for now. Um, 
So we'll see you next time. And until then, keep your knees in the breeze and the shiny side up. I'm Aaron. Have a good week, everyone. Bye. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button, the like button, you know, all the alert stuff that everybody likes to do. And be sure and check out my Twitch channel and also my blog, stickstoryscotch.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching. See you soon.